overheats game time. Ba 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 boss battles. It's amazing to me that some people find this game challenging. Like certainly there have been mega games that were a challenge. I never felt this to be one of them. See, just like that. Like how easy was that? But you should never even really care about jumping. This guy's like so easy. Whip, whip, whip. Done. Three shots. It's the easiest way to beat him. Okay, so I'm gonna take a shot here. Jump over those. I can hit him a couple times. If you move forward while you shoot, they'll go right under his um. As soon as we gain control of our character, we hold the button down to charge up that heat wave. Take a shot. Let him go ahead and do this again. And you're dead. So again, it's one of the situations where you just have to be willing to take a couple hits. Or not. Two shots, you're done. I know he's a jerk. <laughs> we fought at Hal when I was at Half Life, and you still couldn't beat me. How sad, Flashman. You know, if you'd have lived up to your name and been wearing a trench coat and opened it up as soon as we fought, I probably would have died right away. And then you would have won. But you didn't live up to your name. Okay, so the reason I like to save the Flash Beam is because it's not a beam, you just activate it and you freeze time. The reason I like to save it for here is because as soon as you start the fight, you use it, and for every two bars of energy you lose on the weapon, he loses one life. And so now we just switch to the pea shooter and we fight him like a man. And you're done. Once again, an otherwise difficult boss made easy with good old metal weapon. Two shots kills him. They keep getting faster as they get killed, but not fast enough to do anything to me. twigs in your eyeball, and I rupture your cornea, and then you give up. So here's why you have to die here. The only weapon that works against this boss, the only weapon that works against this boss, is the crash bomb. These walls, the only way to take out these walls is with the crash bomb. Guaranteed cheap hit, nothing you can do. Switch until your other weapon disappears. Oops. So now, the walls are all out of my way, but I do not have enough energy with this weapon to kill all of these domes, so I'm screwed. Um, I could kill maybe one of them, I think, before I, before I don't have any more energy, but that won't matter because when I come back, that one that I destroyed will be back because that's the actual boss enemy, but the walls stay gone. So, you clear all the walls, then you have to die. Now, unfortunately, you can only have one crash weapon out at a time. So shoot the first one. Shoot the second one. Haha, <laughs> and dodge all their sorry attacks. Switch to number three. Get yourself up the wall. Take the shot. Switch to crash, and you're dead. 
you're dead. You're dead. Alright. This game does allow you to waste your items, by the way. As you can see, Dr. Riley does quite a bit of damage when he hits you. Really, you just don't want to touch his, uh... Okay, so now he's got me low on life, so I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my energy tanks. And then we'll just go ahead and finish him off. And he's done. Oh, but he's running away like a little chicken face. Alright. Whoa, he's flying! Oh my god, he's a aliens! So first thing we're going to do is use up another one of these tasty energy tanks, switch to bubble, and kick this guy's butt. Wow, one hit. That's right, you're not supposed to let him hit you. <laughs> At all, I forgot about my own cardinal rule. Don't, don't let them hit you. And just be patient. You can't last forever. And you apparently can't shoot it. Couldn't hit the broad side of the barn, as they say. Oh god. I need my big mouth. Yeah, go ahead. I don't care. You're dead, buddy. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, look! The alien was just that little ball flying in a, a figure eight pattern. See if you recognize that? That's a figure eight, like a, or I guess the Morbius strip, technically, if it's on the side. But yeah, uh, if you know that, just know that. He always flies when you're fighting him in a Morbius strip, back and forth. Grovel before me, week one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, like it. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button. If you have any questions or suggestions you'd like to throw out there, drop them in the comments section below. That's it for today, Internet. John, eh? Bye-bye.